going to show you today how using in Brilliance Essentials I add a name to a design. It's really quite simple but I know some of you are new to Brilliance or new to Essentials or new to embroidery and it's fairly easy and I wanted to share with you. So here is one of my designs that I'm actually testing out today. It's a cute little camper van and it's just adorable I think. Um, I bought the clip art and I digitized this using Stitch Artist from Inbrilliance as well. And today I'm going to test stitch it. But I thought I'd do it on a dish towel and I thought I would do it for my son Michael who um, wants to get a van and do some camping in it. So what I want to do is I want to add his name here. And I thought I would add it here or here and I'm going to see what looks better. So there's an icon on top of the Inbrilliance Essentials that has a letter A in it and it says create a lettering design. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. When we click on that you see ABC right here. Not where we want the lettering and not what the lettering we want but that's okay. So now we're going to come over to the side panel over here on the right and here we see block lettering is the font. We can go down through here, click that little arrow, bring down the drop down and you can see all the different fonts they have um, that I have. Some of these are built into Embrilliance. Some of these I bought extra fonts from Brilliance, and other of these I created myself and put into my essentials via the Alphatrix uh, publishing. So here's one of mine, dancing font. Um, hobo, I have a hobo, and then also so does Embrilliance now. Um, I did my hobo quite a while back, but it's kind of funny because these are very similar. Um, I'm just trying to pick something that would be fun for his name and let's see, wow, what so many choices. Let's do, hmm. Should we try Dance Fever? Let's see what that looks like. I don't want to be bigger than five by seven altogether because this is a five by seven um, design and I want to use my five by seven hoop um, mostly because I'm almost out of stabilizer and I'm traveling so I need to get to the store. So let's put the name Michael in there. Oops, and I spelled my own son's name wrong. Also my husband's name, my grandson's name, my brother-in-law's name. I tell you, we got a lot of Michaels. Huh, what do you think of that? That's kind of nice. I think I'd like to make the M bigger though. Okay, but see, let's start here. Let's start by saying this is not where my final placement is going to be. That's okay. Let's click on just the M. Now let's drag this little icon and make it bigger. I like the M a little bigger. Let's see. I like that a lot better. See this little jump stitch right here? This is not because of poor digitizing. It is because it's super close. It's, I mean, there's going to be probably jump stitch here and here because it is too close for the machine to cut, even if it is programmed to cut. It's too close. I say that in a lot of my videos because I see people saying, oh, um, you uh, have a, uh, this design here is not digitized correct because there's no or there's a jump stitch between here and here. There should be a tie-off. There's a tie-off. Machines will not um, jump something that's so close together. It just doesn't happen. All right, so let's bring our name up here a little bit. See how it looks up here, shall we? I could have grabbed it from the middle and pulled it. I just decided to use my arrow keys instead. Um, I don't know why, I just like to. Let's see if we make it smaller. Now I wanna make it wider, less wide and less tall together. So I'm gonna hold my shift key and go to the corner and get those little arrows and bring it down a little bit. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay, I'm liking that. Now I wanna back it up. I'm gonna use my arrow key and back it up a little bit because Although it's centered in the hoop and the van centered in the hoop, it looks a little off to me just by the eye. So I go by my eye. I think it's because of the extra mirror in the front maybe, but I think we're gonna go there. Now what we need to do is see how tall. Oh, look at that, exactly. Five by 7.16 and that's gonna be plenty because that's 179.4 by 127.3. And a five by seven hoop is 180 by 130. So this is going to fit just fine in my hoop. So that's great. So I am going to go ahead and get this ready for stitching. 
But that is how you add a name into in Brilliance Essentials. Um, now, I do want to show you a little secret. Suppose I change my mind on the font. I, I could just go in here and I could click, scroll up and click a different one and it would change to that font. I don't want to do that because I just got the M perfect and the sizing perfect. But all I'd have to do is scroll up and it would change to a different, I'd hit it and it would change to a different font. Just hit enter. Um, so you can change your fonting. You could put it in a circular shape by clicking this one and then it would go into a circle instead of straight across. I'm going to have to redo my M now. Yeah, I am, but it's okay. Um, so let me show you this since we've already done this. We can go to Dallas and it changes to the Dallas spot. We could go to Crayon Kids, it changes to the Crayon Kids spot. So whatever, if you put your name in there first and then you go and try some different fonts, it's kind of cool because then you can see what one you like the best. Um, very simple, very easy. Just wanted to give you a quick peek on how to add fonts to your designs for those who might be new out there. Thanks for watching.